Hello, YouTube and the YTPC. Smoking Buddy Matt back again. How about a pipe video? I know most of the time, well, all the time. That's what I come to these videos for. That's what I enjoy. That's how I enjoy this hobby, so-called. I think of it as a hobby. Something I enjoy in my free time to relax. So, what am I smoking? I've got, this is some low country, if it'll even focus on that. Anyway, it's low country, natural, Virginia and Berlin. Smoking that in my Molina Barrasso saddle stem billiard. Beautiful night here right now, 58 degrees. Just finished mowing my lawn for the first time, which um, maybe it was a little overdue. Not bad, uh, probably not a week overdue, maybe like five days. Probably should have mowed it this last weekend, but you know, that's how, that's how things go. Um, that doesn't help, so I've got a new neighbor uh, since last summer and uh, he happens to be, uh, he works in uh, lawn care and landscaping. Um, so he doesn't obsess about his yard, but he's got a nice yard. Well, I will say that. And yes, he was one of the first to mow this season. So yeah, we are, we are well in the spring. The weather has warmed up. Thankfully. Um, you know, we didn't have a bad winter, but uh, we did have a couple times it got down pretty pretty dang cold. And I actually I have a video. I'm still going to post, I promise. <laughs> uh, keep, uh, I keep saying that. I don't know why I haven't posted. Well, I know why. I know why, because it's a big video file and it's going to take a long time to upload. But, um, you know, I just mentioned in there that we're like in the dead of winter and it's blizzard conditions out we're a far cry from that, although we are expecting some rain tomorrow and through the weekend, possibly severe weather. So with that, there's always a always chance for tornadoes in this area. Luckily, we don't, uh, we don't get too many through here. Yeah, so I've been meaning to make a video for a while. It's it's been a little little bit of time since I've been on. I want to come on and do a quick check in. Um, I might talk about this blend a little bit. Because it's one when I when I first heard of it or first saw it, I was kind of interested. So Low Country is house is a house brand for I think it's house brand for smoking pipes. Because if I'm not mistaken, I think smoking pipes is associated with a, a brick and mortar that is that is called Low Country. I can't remember exactly where that is. So it's it's a house brand for smoking pipes. It is produced by Cornell and Deal. And it's a lot like what it says. It's a natural, very natural, Virginia and Burley. Let's put it 
and I don't know when I first heard about it. I, I knew about it, but there was... I know Patrick Grant is a big fan of this, and he seems to smoke it a lot. Um, he used it for... I think he used it for his Codger Challenge last year. So that was 30 days of this blend. And I guess when I first heard about it, I thought, you know, there's a lot of similarities to something like Haunted Bookshop. Which I am a fan of. Almost a daily blend. It's not quite. I've gotten worn out. I've gotten tongue fatigue from... Um, Haunted Bookshop, but I've also gotten tongue fatigue from like Carter Hall too. Um, just kind of got really harsh on me, um, but I do like it. So an, a similar blend at a very good price. I I don't recall exactly what I paid for this right now, but I bought four ounces. It's available in bulk, um, and it, it was a great deal. Um, but if if and I wasn't expecting Haunted Bookshop because it doesn't have Freak. So you don't get anything like that. Uh, no detectable topping. And if you're someone that doesn't like a full-on natural tasting blend, um, if you think Haunted Bookshop is kind of cigarette-y, and I totally get that. Um, I get why people say that. Probably not going to like this either. And I guess I'll say for me, I did enjoy it as as it was, but I really felt it was missing something. Maybe Parique. In that case, why well, just go to Haunted Bookshop, of course? Well, I felt it could do with a good dose of Kentucky. Uh, Dark Fired. So, I was planning to add maybe a little bit of H.H. McBaron's Old Dark Fired. And I still may do that because it still needs a little something. But what I did, I had that box of fourth generation. I can't remember exactly what it's called. I probably have it here, but I'm not going to dig through the box right now. It's like uh, aged PD something or other and I enjoyed that not the strongest Kentucky flavor it wasn't quite as smoky as I really expected um, but I thought you know what I'm gonna take that and add it to the natural Virginia and Burley and you know it really did improve it for me I really felt that combination was good I think I'm still gonna add some of the old dark fire to it that's one of my favorite blends I think something like this is ripe for blending. It's really, it's kind of a blending base, really. Although, you know, go ahead and smoke it if you like that type of thing. But like other Cornell and Deal blends, it comes relatively dry. Um, doesn't taste like it has any age on it. That'd be interesting. I don't know if, if you age this, would it would it change? Would it uh, meld flavors and develop a little bit? I don't know. Possibly. But I have found that if you have a blend that um, you think could use a little something extra, um, go ahead and add something to it. I know I've added um, some vanilla Cavendish to different blends that I felt needed a little sweetness, and that helped. Um, in this case, the Old Dark Fired, or Dark Fired Kentucky, is a really good addition. I don't know where you showed off the cut. It's just a very loose cut. In the bag. Packs easy, lights easy, smokes easy. So, anyway, with that, uh, I'm going to say you take care. You have a pipe. Take the time. Take care of yourself.
and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye now.